All right, so this is my plan for a CNC plasma table uh, with a 5x10 cutting area that ends up being quite a bit larger than that. You can see it's uh, 5 foot 6 and uh, 11 foot 6 this way. And I went on the, on the actual cutting area in here, I went just a little larger than 5x10, um, just uh, so I'm, I err to the side of caution, I suppose. So this yellow piece right here, this gantry, I plan to make out of aluminum, probably half or three quarter inch wide side plates uh, with four by four tubing right here going across. Um, I'm putting a ball screw inside, so that should be rigid enough to keep the tension on the ball screw so it doesn't whip at all. Um, let's zoom in right here. So under here you can see the idea I came up for the attachment for the ball screw. I put this on the bottom uh, to try and keep any debris or uh, dirt or whatnot out of there. You know, gravity will work for me. Uh, on this side right here, this is a piece of stainless strap. And uh, I plan on putting a V-rail on the top and uh, just a V-bearing on the bottom. Now the reason I put it just on the top is that's where most of the weight is and it gives it more surface area between the bearing and the V-rail. The bottom doesn't really matter, it's just there to keep it from coming off. Same for the long x-axis here. Now the x-axis, I can't get a ball screw long enough so uh, this motor is the uh, is the uh, y-axis motor. There'll be a belt drive all the way across here. I put it down low to kind of counterbalance the weight of what's up here. Now this is the x-axis motor. There's an identical one on the other side. It goes through a jack shaft so I can change the the ratio. But this jack shaft right here will actually connect to a timing belt on the bottom of this rail. And the, the way it works is the the timing belt, there's two pieces. There's, there's one with the teeth facing down, and then there's another with the teeth facing up that interlocks into it. Uh, one is static, one is dynamic. And then uh, on the timing belt, it'll go past a roller here. It'll come down around the jack shaft and then go back up to another roller. So those rollers will actually keep uh, the gantry on the table. The bottom rollers for this won't do much other than be, uh, you know, a backup, a redundancy. Um, I do plan on doing a replaceable uh, water table in here, because I'm not sure if that'll end up being a consumable because of electrolysis or corrosion. Uh, I don't think it will, because I should have proper grounding, but uh, it never hurts. I don't want to have to rebuild this whole table because the water table part starts uh, leaking. I'd like to be able to throw it away and start over. The legs are moved inward from all sides, and so I can't hit my feet against them, and it just seems like a smarter thing. I had to move them in anyways to, for the motor clearance because I wanted the motors tucked up underneath the table uh, for protection. Now there will be a uh, cover on the side of this gantry plate for the belts just to keep you know, the spinny bits away from people's fingers. You see right here, I probably will build a rack on these legs to help with rigidity and it will also give me a place to store extra material. The uh, z-axis that I, I downloaded, let's see if we can get up here to it. This is just off the shelf. This is probably uh, the only part that I'm going to buy pre-made just because uh, I don't have the equipment to really make one and uh, they're not terribly expensive. There's enough competition on the market that these are no big deal. I do plan on running NEMA 34 motors, all four axis, and I decided to do that because uh, I can carry, have one extra motor and controller of whatever I choose as, uh, as a spare in case one uh, gets damaged or has issues. Um, as far as timing belt, uh, right now I'm leaning towards T5 at 25 millimeters wide, which is a very strong belt. I kind of want to go overkill there just so it lasts a long time. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go with servos, hybrids, or just plain stepper motors. Right now I'm leaning towards hybrid steppers just because they're, they're reasonably cheap. And uh, I don't know that I actually need real servos. 
I, I probably don't even need uh, hybrids. Uh, you know, the steppers on this will be so large that I, I can't imagine them missing steps, but it could happen. You know, with the uh, redundancy in the belt drive, or not the redundancy, but the, the, the gear ratio of the belt drives, um, I should be able to tune the sweet spot of the motors, and that'll, that'll help avoid uh, missteps also. Now, uh, this is way overbuilt for just a plasma table, but I plan on um, eventually putting a water jet nozzle on here or possibly a router because I need the capability of doing uh, HDPE sheet or uh, ABS sheet, things like that, for some of the, the things I want to build. So I figured I would just make this thing overkill so uh, it had an upgrade path if I ever needed it. Uh, may not, you know, I, I might be able to put a, a decent uh, VFD motor on this, you know, high horsepower and use this whole thing as a, as a giant mill bed, but I don't know that it'll be that tough. Only time will tell. But I think it's a pretty clean design. Very simple. Um, the gear track or the, the, the wire tracking um, for the motors with them down low like this, I don't have to run too much from the top. Uh, I'll probably put the the gear track or what is that stuff called? Anyways, I'll probably put that down here under on the underside, one on each side, so I don't have to run this motor all the way up and around. Um, the uh, or cable track, that's what I was thinking. Uh, the cable track is going to sit on the top of this tube for the plasma and uh, you know the few limit switches in the Z axis. I should end up with a. Uh, with a couple of limit switches and then a lift switch whenever there's pressure on the on the torch pushing upward. Um, I think that's about it. Anyways, tell me what you think of my table design and uh, leave some comments below. Uh, I appreciate it. And if you find these videos helpful or informative of any sort, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'd like to get that number up. Um, just so it shows that the effort I'm putting into this channel is worthwhile. Anyways, till next time, this is Philo with Philo's Garage.